Good morning. It's Thursday morning at about 8 o'clock, and yes, I slept in today. <laughs> My son woke me up at 7, he got in the shower, and then woke me up again about 15 minutes ago. <sighs> like, Mommy, isn't it time for you to get up and get ready? Yes. Yes, it is. So, haven't made them breakfast yet. Fiona's still not awake. She went to bed late last night. She went to bed about an hour and a half past her bedtime. It was just a badly organized evening. So, I don't know. Very unmotivated this morning to get them uh, to get them ready. But, anyway. So I was just reading an article about um, this whole Miss America flap. Not Miss America. Miss USA. Which I've always thought of as kind of the, the cheesier little sister of Miss America, if that's possible, because Miss America is already plenty cheesy. But honestly, I don't really know what to think about about Carrie Prejean being allowed to to stay as, as Miss California. Um, I'm sure most of you know the story. She, she was asked a question by Perez Hilton during the pageant about, um, during the Miss USA pageant, about what she thought of same-sex marriage. And she gave her honest answer. I don't fault her for, for that. I mean, she, in front of millions and in front of, you know, a, a guy who was not going to take kindly to the answer, she gave her honest answer. She said that she believes that marriage should be between a man and a woman. I, the thing is, I don't know what the question portion of the, of the pageant is supposed to be for. I, I don't know if it's supposed to be if, you, if, if the judges take into account the opinions, I don't know if it's just to see if the contestant can string two sentences together. I don't know. If it's just to make sure that they're not completely empty-headed, then she gave a very coherent, well-thought-out answer. If it's supposed to be about their opinions, I'm not sure how, how that fits in. I, I, I just don't know. So she gave her opinion, she got dragged through the mud for it, she stood behind her opinion, and then these topless photos came out of her. Um, I didn't see them, but it, it sounded like they were not all that different than the Miley Cyrus photos. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's, it's tough, because Donald Trump owns the pageant, he wants to keep it relevant. So he had a decision to make. Does she get to keep her crown as Miss California? And it sounds like he based his decision on the fact that the pictures weren't a big deal and that she's entitled to her opinion. Whereas other people who run the organization say that she's ignoring her duties as Miss California. She's completely blowing off things that she's supposed to do under her contract in order to speak on behalf of, of um, same of, of uh, traditional marriage rights. <sighs> so that's that's where it is. And I think the thing that bothers me the most about it is that people keep saying, "Leave her alone. She's entitled to her opinion. She has the right to say what she wants. She has the right to voice her opinion about this." And this comes up in so many different subjects. The the right to an opinion, the right to free speech means that the government is not going to throw you in jail for your speech. It does not mean that if you say something that I think is completely stupid or ass backwards, I can't say anything against you. It's not what it means. It doesn't protect you from ridicule. It doesn't protect you from having to defend yourself. It doesn't protect you from the opinions of other people who think differently than you do. So I, I'm just really sick of hearing people say, in, in, not just in this, but in so many different different um, di different subjects. Um, you know, she she has the right to her opinion. She has leave her alone. She has the right to say what she feels. So yeah, and then other people have the right to fight back. Free speech does not protect you from people calling you stupid. Free speech does not protect you from people saying that your ideas are old-fashioned and hurtful. So just keep that in mind. You know, next time somebody defends an opinion saying, I have the right to say what, what I want, say, yeah, I have the right to argue against it. So, 
I don't really care what happens to a pageant winner. I couldn't care less. It's completely irrelevant to my life, but it bothers me that free speech is being used to defend her opinion. I'm using my free speech to say that her opinion is stupid and hurtful. Right. Have a great day.